Hey, how's it going? This is James P. White from 95.7 Cruise FM, The Locker Room, and welcome to the Jedi Jimmy Podcast. This is episode number 13, lightsaber form number 4. It is called Ataru, which is also called the Way of the Hawk Bat and the Aggression Form. Now, Form 4 is a very fast-paced lightsaber form. It is effective against single opponents, through prolonged combat that involves high energy and it is also can be used in uh, it's not very effective in weaker or smaller confined spaces and it's also not recommended against blaster fire now ataru is characterized as a forced it's characterized by its forced assisted acrobatics flips and jumps and fast moves and such as somersaults leaping strikes and it can be used for both attack and defense and uh, another characterized uh, char- characteristic of this form is also the powerful strikes from multiple different directions now there are a few Jedi that are that use it. Master Yoda, or uh, you know, also known as Yoda, is very well known for this one, as well as Qui Gon Jinn, Shaq T, Syndrolic. Again, Syndrolic was one of the masters that taught lightsaber combat in the temple, and also Darth Maul was very well known for the, his use of the uh, of this form uh, the way of the hawk bat and but he used the double bladed lightsaber which it also does work very well because of his martial arts and flips and and f- fancy strikes like that now obi-wan kenobi also was very proficient in ataru during the uh Phantom Menace, when he was the the apprentice to Qui Gon Jinn. Now again, Qui Gon was his master, so in Qui Gon was very strong with this, and you can actually see uh, many characteristics of this form of combat in uh, Obi Wan's fight against Darth Maul, especially after Qui Gon uh, was killed Uh, you can see it through multiple techniques that he used now form four users uh, constantly call upon the force to aid in their movements and attacks they let the force flow through them so it also allows um, physically weaker uh, practitioners use huge jumps and flips and all that kind of stuff by use of the force and the force helping them do these things a prime example of this was yoda if you remember during the uh episode two attack of the clones near the end when he fought count dooku he came limping in with his walking stick dooku challenged him and then all of a sudden he dropped the walking stick and went totally ape and like jumped all over the place was bouncing off this starship and the walls and all that kind of stuff and that is by the use of the force and yoda was one of the most powerful force users of the jedi because he was so old and he was called a grand master so this worked really well for him now uh one of the as I said, one of the main characteristics of this is the acrobatics. And it's not just flips and somersaults. Uh, one of the common uses uses of Ataru, one of the acrobatics, that especially that I'm good at, because I'm not good at the flips and the cartwheels as much at this time, but is, is the shoulder roll. Like, it's like basically rolling... And it can be used as an attack. It can be used as a dodge. It also, if you aren't a force user like myself, 
it also is a very good tool for retrieving your weapon. If it's been knocked to the floor, you roll forward, grab your weapon, get back to your feet. It's a very, it's fun technique. I've been using that since I was a kid before I even knew it was part of uh, Form 4 of Lightsaber Combat. Now, Ataru, as a, as a defense, also incorporates aggressive ducks and dodges and also can lead to multiple counterattacks. Because it's so fast, you can move out of the way and come in with a counterattack. Now, one of these is when someone swings towards your head, you duck underneath and step inside and attack their body from underneath their lightsaber. Another similar attack is when someone swings and you duck underneath, you can, again, move around, go behind them, and strike them in the, in the back of the head or in the back. Again, it's, it incorporates a lot of movement. This is a very powerful uh, style that way. Now, also, uh, as I said, Obi-Wan Kenobi really had a master of this style uh, during Phantom Menace when he faced Darth Maul. Now, one, uh, when Darth Maul was using both lightsabers, one technique which, or one series of techniques that he used, I really loved it. It's actually something that I also mastered as well. It's a, in a series of four or five techniques. First, Darth Maul swung his lightsaber towards Obi-Wan's legs. He jumped over it, then ducked, and then he then he lifted his lightsaber behind, blocked the back of his head, and black, uh, blocked his back, then blocked forward, and then and then did some leg blocks. But it's very fast and a and cool technique. I was really intrigued by that when I first saw the movie. And that's kind of one of the things that got me into lightsaber combat was actually the Darth Maul Obi-Wan fight. Now, this, uh, this style also does uh, utilize, because it's so fast, it does utilize switching one lightsaber, uh, switching your lightsaber from one hand to the other to allow for uh, surprise attacks and fluid movements. So, like a prime example is, so you're swinging forward with your right with your right hand, then you switch to your left and you spin around, and then and then you strike with a reverse spinning strike like that towards your opponent, and then you can either grab with uh, your lightsaber with both hands. I really like that one. Um, but, uh, you know, one thing that you have to remember is that this lightsaber form is also very aggressive. So as a practitioner, when you are um, a Jedi, you have, to, uh, you have to remember that... Uh, the aggression, anger leads to hate, and then hate leads to suffering. It's part of the path to the dark side. So you have to keep, you know, from letting the anger and aggression take over when you're in combat. Now, with this form, there are a, a number. The cool thing about this form is not only the flips and the jumps, which I'm going to show a series of in a bit, but is the fluid movements. It's all in circular patterns. So you're swinging one way, you, you can flip the lightsaber around your head or behind you. It's always fluid, clean movements. 
This is also another style that works really well when you are doing the like the like various different uh can't, Oh, various different spins and so it, it allows you to be able to spin and you can uh, move around a figure eight spin which i showed the last one uh you could rotate your lightsaber within your hand so that you're going so that the blade's underneath the bottom of your hand or you can go from the top and it's very fluid movements this style focuses a lot on momentum and with the momentum and the speed you gain power that's you know a huge strength with this one it's a power powerful style and it allows you to do a number of different things now also with this style there is a lot of mix between uh, multiple techniques like using uh, lightsaber strikes and kicks at the same time or lightsaber strikes and jumps or um a number of different things like you can kick like again multiple opponents you can jab at one kick another or you can kick and strike at the same time there's a number of different ways and this style also as i said jump jump lunges jump jabs or uh jumping downward strikes there's a number of different techniques you can use and you this this one is a very physical intensive style so it does actually uh is a good workout as well now i've said this before but you don't want it to focus on anger you don't want hate involved in this style because that's the path to the dark side See, fear leads to anger, anger leads to hate, hate leads to suffering, which is the dark side. So you definitely don't want to focus on that. Now, I'm going to show you a number of jumps, kicks, uh, and strikes through a series of movements uh, right away here. So here's a series of all of the above, all the techniques that I know of Form 4. Now, I do need to thank you so much for joining me on my path of not only teaching the lightsaber combat, but also learning it and studying the styles. I'm actually really enjoying this. I hope you're enjoying the podcast, and I hope you join me next week when I do deal with Form 5, which is a pretty good one. We're, we're past the halfway point of the uh, seven styles. So you can join me next week for Form 5. But before I let you go, I need to uh, thank a few of my sponsors. First of all, the uh, Dean Blundell podcast at Dean Blundell Network on DeanBlundell.com where you can find my podcast and many others. And uh, so again, that's DeanBlundell.com. And I also do need to thank my buddy Army Chris. Again, he's helped me set all this stuff up and it and I'm really glad that I'm able to do this podcast. I look forward to seeing you next time. What could go wrong?